Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and today I'm going to be going over the recent bracket uh, that was released by Joe Lenardi. Uh, I'm just going to go over and point out some key matchups and some troubles for higher seeds and uh, some sleeper teams that may uh, cause trouble or uh, non-power conference teams. So, start out in the south bracket with number one overall Florida. Uh, it's got teams like Oklahoma, who's a nice little sleeper team and uh, VCU who's always dangerous, regular season ACC champ Virginia, um, my favorite team in regular season Big Ten champion Michigan, but first I'm going to take a look at the top where Florida plays Wright State, and then after that would take on Arizona State or George Washington, a very favorable matchup for Florida, both of those teams not too much of a competition for them, Oklahoma and North Carolina could have a nice little matchup with BYU with the possibility of the upset on Oklahoma. In the southern part of the bracket, you've got VCU and Harvard. Harvard, a team that always has a chance for an upset. Virginia and Mercer don't see Mercer winning. Uh, New Mexico and Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State is a very, very dangerous team for Michigan if Oklahoma State makes it past New Mexico. Uh, taking a look at the Midwest. Uh, which has Wichita State as their number one seed, the second number one seed. Uh, has teams like Michigan State, who's had injury problems, Ohio State, who hasn't lived up, Syracuse, who has fallen off, fallen off uh, near the end of the season, and Kansas without Joel Embiid uh, for at least the first two rounds of the tournament. Wichita State gets Alabama State or Wolford, pretty easy, simple. Uh, SMU, I think if SMU wins, they could give Wichita State a challenge. And that Michigan State-Cincinnati game would be real interesting, but Iona has a chance and Arkansas as well. Even Dayton has a chance for the upset. Ohio State-Xavier, that's a trap for Ohio State. Xavier could easily beat them. Syracuse don't see any problems with Boston U. Uh, that Kentucky-Pittsburgh, whoever wins that versus Kansas, is real interesting. Pittsburgh pushed Syracuse, almost beat them twice. Kentucky, very good team. So that should be interesting. Uh, the East and the third overall uh, number one, or no, this would be the fourth overall number one seed in Villanova. Uh, you've got Oregon and Baylor, both big wins last week and two big wins. You got Louisville, who's up and coming, St. Louis, UCLA, good Iowa State, and of course Duke. Uh, Villanova got a bad draw with Oregon or Baylor, both teams that can get hot. Uh, Oregon from three, Baylor can just get hot. They're a good team. Also got the bad pull in Louisville, who is starting to warm up. Also St. Louis, not a bad team. Uh, didn't win the uh, A-10, but still a very good team. Uh, UCLA uh, falling off a little bit here, but a very good team as well. Iowa State started off the season amazing. Falling off a little bit here of recent beat uh, Oklahoma State in a game they needed to have, so that was good for them. Uh, Memphis is a team to look out for as well as well as Stanford, who could give Duke a problem. Uh, in the number three overall seed, uh, one seed in the West, is Arizona, who got a kind of bad pull with Iowa and Gonzaga. Also, Connecticut is a team that can really show up, along with Texas, who may get upset by St. Joe if they happen. Creighton and Wisconsin, Wisconsin, uh, another good two seed. Uh, Arizona, like I said, Iowa or Gonzaga could easily upset them. I don't see North Dakota State beating Connecticut or Delaware beating San Diego State, so I see that as a very good matchup to potentially upset Arizona. Uh, like I said, St. Joseph or Tennessee, I could see them beating Texas easily. Creighton, easy win, takes on Texas. Uh, hypothetically and Wisconsin I see easily making it to the winner of that but let me know what you guys think uh, I hope you guys enjoyed drop a like if you did subscribe if you haven't and I'll catch you guys in my next bracket